Hey everyone, I'm David and this is my wife Dana. We're from davidanddana.com and we're coming to you from our retirement home in Chapala, Mexico. If you're thinking about starting a home business, which a lot of people are these days, the first question you need to ask is, what is the best home business to start? We've got a great blog post you could read, or if you're short on time, we'll summarize it for you here. We're so glad you're taking the initiative to do your homework to make sure that the opportunity is the best one for you. So where do you begin? To decide what's best for you, we'd like to suggest a few criteria that we've found very helpful. So first, find a product that is unique and that you believe in. Be sure to ask yourself, is this something that I would buy and use? If not, walk away. Because after all, if, if we didn't really love our products, how could we sell them? Other questions to consider. Is your product unique in the marketplace without competition? Or are there similar products with different companies? If there are, what sets your product apart? So the first tip we have for you today is to pick a product that you don't need to convince someone else to buy. Next, find a product that is competitively priced. Above all, you need to be able to show value. And value is simply the perceived benefits divided by the price paid. So check out what Amazon.com or even Walmart are charging for a similar product. Our second tip, your product should be reasonably priced. Okay, how about this one? Find a product that's at the beginning of a trend. I love what Bill Gates said about that. He said the key to success in business is detecting where the world will go and then to get there first. Great wisdom. Exactly. You don't want to get to the party when everybody's cleaning up. You know, to be golden, you need to find an opportunity that's just releasing, uh, one that's a ground floor opportunity. However, be careful. You want to check out the company. You want to make sure they have a good reputation and that it's a viable company. Word of caution, don't get caught up in fads. You want to be sure your product is not something that will be here today and gone tomorrow. Look at the industry as a whole. So our tip, tip number three, watch the trends and listen to the experts like Forbes and Business Week. Next up, we have flexibility in marketing. You want a product that is available to market online, in person, and around the world. We've learned um, that sales is a numbers game, and what better way to leverage a lot of people than to use the internet? There's no better way. But you know, you might not know how to do that now, and that's all right, because we've got lots of resources we'd be happy to share with you. Our fourth tip, don't settle for a product with a small sales territory. Take on the world. Okay, and what about the compensation package? So ask yourself, am I just trying to earn a little bit of extra spending money? Or do I anticipate supporting myself and perhaps even a family? Then ask yourself, is that a reasonable expectation with this business and the compensation that it offers? Okay, so tip number five, find a compensation package that fits your needs. So, what is the best home business to start? I think we've given them five great criteria so far. Hopefully that's a good place to start. And for more help, follow the link below to download our free resource, Opportunity Checklist for Professional Home Business Entrepreneurs. It's got a long title. The subtitle, The 12 Must-Have Criteria for a Wildly Successful home business opportunity. And the good news, that's just a click away. 12 criteria. Well, we'd really love to work with any of you who are excited about starting your home business and making a home business work. 
we have lots of experience to share and lots of resources, and we see ourselves as servant leaders here to help you succeed. Well, thanks for your time today. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to, if you've liked what you've heard, to um, share and like and comment below. Peace and joy to you.